Hey everyone, it's Lisa here. Um, okay, so to give you an update um, about those live sessions that I, that I mentioned, um, the cake and creativity. Basically, I've been doing some um, testing, like, um, what do you call it? You know, live testing with, with the Wi-Fi and seeing, um, you know, what'll work and what won't work. And it looks like I can't really get such a stable connection while I'm live. So um, what I've decided to do, which I hope is still okay for you, and I hope that you'll still join me, um, is actually record the sessions and... I know that kind of takes away a little bit of the fun of like the live thing of you asking me questions, but the lag is so bad that I'd probably miss half your questions anyway. <laughs> so what I thought of doing is I'm going to record these sessions and, um, you know, I'll post them. I'll post them on YouTube and um, I'll let you know on Instagram when they're up and yeah, and see where that takes us. Um, so the idea behind it is I'm gonna also um, change the session name and I'll tell you why. Um, I'm starting my own teaching platform called Learn With Lease. Um, so a lot of my friends call me Lease, like my name isn't short enough already. Um, so I wanted to make it really informal and um, comfortable place for everybody to learn the learn with Lisa and it's kind of catchy um sounds better than learn with Lisa I think um yeah anyway so that's what I'm going to do um I'm calling these sessions that and then what I'll do is I'll just as I said post them okay so the other thing I wanted to tell you was this speaking on camera business is pretty scary for me um I yeah it's not my bag <laughs> but I am super, super keen to get better at it because I know it's going to help um, with my teaching and I want to get comfortable and in front of the camera so that I can actually be, um, you know, approachable and interesting to follow along to. I don't know, whatever. Um, so the other thing I wanted to tell you was these videos that I make, they are literally off the cuff. I'm not going to be editing them. Um, so I'll be rambling like I'm currently rambling. Um, it's, nothing's going to be perfect because the idea is that I thought if I overthink the stuff and which is kind of advice that I would also give you if you were trying something new, um, it's just, I, I don't want to overthink it. I just want to do it. And yes, it's not going to be perfect. Um, I don't know. I might have a bogey sticking out of my nose. Who knows? Um, I don't know. It may go well, may not go well. Who knows? Um, so the point I'm making is you are unfortunately going to see the uncut version. Um, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> and I'm going to try and answer questions for you guys. So please do keep them coming. And what I thought I'd do is in each session, do you like, depending on the kind of question that, that you guys send, um, you know, I might do one, I might do three. Um, and hopefully also try and kind of keep the, the theme you know, as, as a single theme so that the, it's not all over, over the place. But again, I, d I don't know. I'm, I'm winging at this stage. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, yeah, so I hope you'll join me. Okay, so what I thought of doing is um, the first session, which is the one I'm doing now. Um, I do have my coffee. Mm. And I don't have cake, but I have a very soft spot for biscuits. I've got a soft spot for cake and biscuits and anything yummy like that. So I'm set. I'm all set. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd jump into the first question that I, I want to tackle. It's, these are going to be the light-hearted um, questions. So the first one comes from AD and her Instagram handle is, is Woolly Pronto. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so AD asks... Um, let's see. She said, um, I would love to know what a standard work day looks like for you or a couple of work days since I'm guessing your days don't often look the same. Yeah, you got that right. They don't. Um, okay. So my, my standard work day goes something like this. I wake up probably around seven ish. Um, and then yeah, feed the animals, take the dog for a walk. Um, obviously shower and do all that stuff. <laughs> um, sometimes I go for a run um, I do that three times a week and 
yeah, I come about nine o'clock, I come up to my um, office and I start either, I quickly check into my emails to see if there isn't anything too urgent and if there is, I, I attend to it um, and then I jump straight into whatever I'm working on. So either it's a product that I'm working on or maybe I'm doing some um, videos or maybe I'm doing my, uh, you know stuff on my website, whether it's blog related or um, yeah, it's, you know, it ranges. Uh, unfortunately, as you know, as an entrepreneur, you have to kind of like wear all the hats. So um, yeah, it, it ranges from doing all, a whole bunch of things, maybe even video editing, which I really don't like, um, but it is something I have to do. Um, yeah, so when I'm doing a product, um, when I'm in the middle of, of, of creating a product, I tend to really get stuck in that and everything else kind of like takes a back seat. It isn't very good sometimes because I tend to really just kind of uh, focus so much so on the product that, um, you know, I drop the ball in other areas. Like I know my social media presence needs a lot of work, um, but I just naturally don't do stuff like that. So yeah, it's a struggle for me. Um, I mean, I love connecting with people. So the, so from that point of view, it's awesome. I mean, hence why I'm doing this because the whole, I don't know, for me, Facebook still feels weird. I still haven't figured it out, to be honest. The only reason why I have it because you have to have it in order to do ads and stuff. Um, but Instagram's definitely, now I'm rambling, Instagram is definitely my favorite platform and that's where I can connect with you guys. Um, yeah, so then I will basically spend, let's say, two, three hours doing that, come have a bit of lunch, have lots of coffee and cookies in between <laughs> and then probably around about hmm, I'd say about three in the afternoon I will tackle my emails and attend to any customer stuff and that can take easily up to like an hour two hours depending on how complicated the, the issue is sometimes what happens is when a customer has a problem it triggers an idea that I need to attend to for something else so then I go and attend to it um, or I try and add it to my help section for future you know customers um, so yeah, it has kind of like a knock-on effect and then around four o'clock I do a bit of Instagram, I, d I design my posts, I I'm terrible, I don't plan, I just on the fly, you know, make them. Um, and then around about six o'clock, um, okay, so then sometimes I start creating again, but around about six o'clock I come down and I sit with Cliff, uh, my partner, um, we're not married, but we've been together for like. 22 years or something so it's difficult to say husband partner whatever it's kind of like the same thing um i sit with first to take the dog for a walk again and then i sit with him have a glass of wine and then we make dinner and maybe some tv uh jibber jabber got my cats all over me my dog and that's it go to bed and repeat um so yeah that pretty much is my day and then another question which is kind of related to this comes from uh, Merriment Graphics, if I can find it. Of course, I was terrible at not actually setting that up. Sorry, Merriment. Um, okay, sorry, I don't want to waste your time. Um, but I know the gist of it was something along the lines of as you can see, these are on the fly. Um, so I'm, something along the lines of um, what's my proportion that I spend on creating and the business side of stuff. So that's a really actually quite a difficult question. And it's probably something I really need to, do need to sit down and think about. But um, I can tell you just off the cuff, it's probably 50-50. So 50% is creating. I might spend like three weeks like totally like involved in creating something and and hardly any business stuff and then I'll, I'll spend once that's done then I'll spend another say two weeks just on the business side of promoting making videos doing blog posts emails um, you know stuff like that so I would say it's 50 50 and if you think about it a product kind of does need that 50 50 because you are creating um, a product and then you need to package it and that's what we what I'm doing so I have to come up with, you know, preview images, um, samples. Um, so for example, my latest brush uh, collection that I created, while I was testing the brushes, I was also creating uh, images for the previews. Um, and you know, that takes time. Um, 
and then um yeah so then from there you obviously need to think about all the other stuff that goes with with the product creating so i would say it's 50 50. um just in terms of licensing if you'd be interested to know i once had a discussion with an agent and um, a licensing agent and she reckoned she advised that for any licensing piece that you license so for example if you're a surface designer and you are licensing say an image for a greeting card um she advised don't spend more than three hours on on a piece and i know a lot of you're gonna go what um when i heard it i went what that's that's really short time um but i think that's the whole point about the stuff we need to get faster in our creation and not overthink things obviously we want to be like you know uh, i mean i will never ever compromise the quality of my work um but you do want to have systems in place that speed up your process that speed up your workflow and that for me is like the number one goal that i always try and have at the top of my mind like can i do this faster am i going to need to do this again do i need a you know a shortcut for it um so that goes with like your app usage um your workflow how you actually you know think things through uh, um stuff like that so I, I i understand exactly why she said that because if you're spending eight hours on a piece and you're licensing it for four hundred dollars you know that that may not be worth your while um so you do need to think about um you know being kind of uh, faster in your workflow and if you're new to the journey it's going to take longer to get there and um you know the more used to you get to your techniques um the you know the quicker you'll become so just bear that in mind and have that as a goal because you don't want to be spending hours on a piece because there's there's a few things wrong with that and 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 one of them is obviously the payment in return for those hours that you spend because you've got to do the math of what does that mean for your hourly rate you know your hourly rate will come down hugely if you're spending 10 hours on a piece and you're only getting 500 dollars for it or whatever um and then other thing to remember is that the longer you spend on a piece the more you overthink it um and you you probably will start tweaking it beyond what it needs to be tweaked um and the other thing to consider um is that we tend to get too attached to the piece so um in 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 the commercial world and selling artwork it's a good idea not to get attached um, as much as you can because yeah things can as you know the ugly side is people can steal it they can rip it off they can copy your work and yeah the less you feel like your heart and soul is attached to that piece the less it's gonna impact you and trust me i haven't found a way to quite figure that out yet because i still get affected by that um but that's a discussion for another day anyway so i hope that kind of answered those two questions and yeah i hope this session you found useful somehow and um let's see where this takes us i have no idea as i said so yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.